She's one of the country's best-known designers. For nearly two decades, Joyce Ambabio's paved the way for the country's fashion industry. Now she's giving something back. Her college of creative design is inspiring a whole new generation of fashion talent. As a school, I've been encouraging them though, to see inspiration from everywhere, find it from everywhere, and not just uh, the way people look at it here. It's more about what we've seen somebody else do, as opposed to getting the inspiration from different things and, and being able to create your own. So for me, it's working really hard, opening your mind, stepping out of the box, and being able to come up with something that is yours. Gun has historically been known more for its textiles than its original fashion designs. Although there's a rich history of dressmaking, high fashion is still in its relative infancy. It's a really small scale industry and we are now uh, basically understanding the market and working towards it so we are now growing. So what we are hoping the students will get is seeing the growing markets and us becoming a, a larger industry. Students leaving this college are entering a difficult industry. Ghana's fashion sector isn't as developed as some other countries in Africa like South Africa and Kenya. That's why a key part of this course is encouraging students to think about business. The biggest thing that the students don't see is how they can become an e-retailer. And the way to become a really good e-retailer is to understand e-business, but also understanding, like as you see what's going on behind me, pattern drafting, sizing. And it's not just sizing according to West African figure type. It's sizing Euro, sizing American, Canadian. And so if they don't have those skills, then they don't understand that, you know, I could be here in Accra and make a living selling. And then I can export my goods. I can sell here, but I can also sell abroad. The school's 250 pupils are just at the start of their fashion careers. But first-year student Atambila Aguri is already dreaming big. I hope I'll be able to exceed the borders of Ghana and go international because that's my aim. I'm here to build my foundation and build up myself to so that I'll be able to go international. And I hope I can meet the standards of the international level, yeah. But she knows climbing to the top of the fashion industry won't be easy. It seems like with it being Ghana, we don't have a good foundation to push us through in the fashion industry. But we believe that coming here would actually give us a lot of opportunities. Yeah. And there's a bigger than ever national platform to showcase her work. Ghana's Fashion Week returns for its third edition early next year. Katerina Vitozzi, CCTV, Accra.